Do you remember the MPV special we did some months back? And a certain Mr Rutherford, who was adamant that MPVs were not multi-purpose vehicles, but instead... They're not MPVs or multi-purpose vehicles. They're minibuses. Oh, what was that again, Mike? They're minibuses. Yeah, right. But Mike, just to be awkward, and you know I'm good at that, I have to tell you that there are stacks of people out there who don't give a monkeys that their vehicle looks like this or handles like a van, because all they want is something practical. Of course, great strides have been made by manufacturers in creating from scratch big, multi-seated vehicles that drive like cars. But at the end of the day, although you can fit seven or eight people into the standard wheelbase MPVs, you can't really fit in all their luggage as well. And you certainly couldn't sleep comfortably in any of them. Enter the Volkswagen Multivan. OK, so it may look an awful lot like the Caraval, which of course has been around forever. But it looks like it because basically this is what it is. The breakthrough has come with the designers actually sitting down and thinking about how they can use the interior to make this a real multi-purpose vehicle. OK, so there's only one door, which is a slight drawback, I must admit. But that's because on the other side is this fantastic pop-up table. Perfect for doing work on on those long journeys or for kids to play games on, which they can then store in one of the great number of cubby homes. When you're parked up, you can even pop a TV set on here for a bit of light relaxation and then plug it into one of the sockets down there. And up here is a fluorescent strip light, which is handy for getting changed by at night when it's dark. Because yes, this is a bedroom as well. Open the huge, but surprisingly not too heavy tailgate and you find a mattress. Now that's the first part. And now it's off with the headrest. One, two, and three. Two simple catches to release the back seat. And the final piece of the jigsaw is the handle down here. It needs a good firm pull. And there you have the perfect double bed. Oh, oh yeah, forgot about this bit. The nice men at Volkswagen provide you with curtains to protect your modesty. The Volkswagen Multivan seems to me to be just perfect for the family that like to get out and about at the weekend, maybe indulge in a spot of camping. So I lent the Multivan to my boss to see how he and the family got on with its various configurations. Yes, what great fun, clearing the bed away and popping up the breakfast table may be lovely for the family, but what about the poor driver at this end? Well, although it's a bit of a struggle to actually get up here, once you make it, the seats are fantastically comfortable and there's a wonderful commanding view of everything around you. The switch gear is all very sensibly laid out and easy to find. And although the steering wheel isn't adjustable, I've got to say that everybody who's driven this vehicle, whether they be six foot tall or five foot four like me, seems to have found that it suited them just right. Now the other huge MPV in this sector is the Mercedes V-Class and both that and the Multivan are priced at around £22,000. However, what you don't get with the Mercedes is a whole host of extras that come as standards on the Multivan, including a radio cassette, electric front windows and electric mirrors. And what about the dual aircon system, which is absolutely fantastic? Cold in the front, warm in the back, or maybe the other way around. 
Here you have automatic climate control split between the front and the rear. It's when you turn the key and get the multivan moving that things start to get a little bit disappointing. There's an awful lot of engine noise, but then again, we're not exactly expecting it to be as quiet as a Citroen Synergy or handle like a Ford Galaxy, are we? But don't let the fact that essentially you're driving a van put you off. Once you're behind the wheel and you're up and running, it's actually not as difficult as you would think and you do get used to it extremely quickly. You may feel a bit like a truck driver from time to time and the noise from the diesel power plant isn't that well insulated. But at least this isn't as gas guzzling as many of the petrol MPVs I know. Now if you're in the market for something like this, you really do have to weigh up all the pros and the cons extremely carefully. This would be a great vehicle for the family, for weekends away. But not so good if you also want it to double up for business journeys or for daily commuting. The Caraval, on which this new multivan is based, is a solid, reliable performer and was voted by Diesel Car Magazine to be the king of MPVs. The multivan builds on these strengths to improve the practicality for folk who want to use it as more than just a minibus. But all I know is that it's just fantastic to be able to lounge around inside a vehicle with a cuppa and with the TV on, nice and warm, while the crew set up the next shot.